In this video, we will explore a few examples of how Dial RAG can significantly improve a user's conversational experience. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, which allows users to enhance the accuracy and reliability of their conversations. The concept of RAG is not unique to Dial. There are plenty of implementations out there. But based on initial feedback and evaluation, we feel comfortable saying that ours can compete with or outperform any of the ones currently publicly available. We'll explore the technical details of our implementation in a later video, but the core concept is explained in this paragraph here. We combine several common techniques such as embedding, indexing, and semantic search with our internal chunking algorithms and the summarization capabilities of large language models. This allows Dialrag to not only provide better answers, but also cite specific references to explain where the answers came from and limit incorrect hallucinations as a result. The last point I want to mention before we jump into the demos is that although this implementation relies on GPT-4 for document summarization, because RAG was built using the Dial API, it will soon support operation on other models, including the fully self-hosted Mixtral as well. Let's go through a few examples of how this can be used in the life sciences domain. Staying on the theme of AI, let's try to use the Dial RAG to extract information about ontologies from this scholarly article from Artificial Intelligence in the Life Sciences Volume 3. As Dial handles file management for us, once the article is uploaded, if we want to access it again, we can just access it by selecting Attach Uploaded File instead of uploading a new copy. First, let's ask for the basic summary of the article. We see that it explains to us why we should pay attention to ontologies, how they're growing in popularity, and the development tools surrounding them. It mentions the fields of life sciences, which they are most directly impacting right now. Now that we know the gist of what the article is about, let's dive into more detail. The summary mentioned pharmacology, so let's see if any drug or pharmacological ontologies are explicitly mentioned in this article. As we can see, Dial Rag does not invent a pharmacological ontology, but rather mentions again that ontologies are being used in such fields. If we want more information about drug ontologies, we need to go outside of the scope of this Dial Rag conversation. Let's see which ontologies are explicitly mentioned in this article. We received a pretty comprehensive list. Let's ask about one specific one, ORDO. As we can see, it gives an answer and a reference point to find more information about it in the article. Now, let's provoke it to make up an ontology. Let's ask it about ONTO. Again, we see a few references in this article to potentially related results, but nothing referring to Onto specifically. In the previous answer, it mentioned Onto Studio and its support for OWL. So let's get some more information about that. It does provide a pretty comprehensive explanation of what the language is. Finally, let's ask it about the development of new ontologies and the most popular tools for doing so. We can see it refer to the protege tool from the Stanford Center. This example shows the accuracy and validity of the summarization cap capabilities of the dial rag. In this next example, we are going to combine dial rag with a topic we covered in a previous video known as parametrized prompts. Prompt engineering is outside the scope of this short video, but essentially this prompt is designed to generate JSON formatted text output for information present within the abstract if and only if it is backed up by information in the article as a whole. We paste the abstract from the article in the prompt, upload our article, and wait for Dial Rag to process it. As you can see, we get the JSON response in return with all the requested information. For simplicity, this demo shows the process of querying one article from the Dial UI. In a real client implementation, we could use prompt engineering like this combined with Dial RAG and the Dial API to iterate over thousands of complete articles and create a taxonomy. This next demonstration is a specific example of how access and understanding of Dial RAG can help in totally unexpected circumstances. On a call with a cardiology unit of a large biotech company, their team was explaining the radiologist's process of measuring hearts and generating reports for patients and their doctors. Essentially, once the measurements are all taken and the results are filled in, the cardiologist needs to generate a report with references to any potential abnormalities. 
The major pain point for them is the reconciliation process of comparing measurements with recommendations from the Society of Echocardiography. These recommendations come in the form of 50 or more page PDFs and change relatively frequently. The client's team was explaining to us that they have tried all sorts of NLP and data extraction tools to automatically extract these guidelines, but never got the results they were happy with and ended up constantly needing more people to keep track of everything. Well, the EPAM team decided to try feeding the most recent PDF of guidelines to dial RAG and asking a random question about measurements that were on the client's mind, the annulus dinameter. Lo and behold, dial RAG was able to give up to the date an accurate recommendation. If we look in the document itself, we can observe that the word diameter isn't even mentioned directly next to the guidelines in the table. It needs to get this information from several pages up. With no expensive fine tuning or training process, Dial Rag was able to find the correct answer within just a few seconds. We hope that these three examples help shine some light on just how powerful Dial and Dial Rag can be. Thank you.